Shalom folks, this is Christoph Fink, so I uh, have with me here, Brother Robbie. He's going to give part of his testimony, he's going to give his testimony to the power of our Lord and Saviour, Yahushua HaMashiach, who is Jesus Christ Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, brother. Right, state your name for the folks out there, Robbie. How's it going, folks? Oh, Robbie, go on. Uh, Robbie O'Brien here from Dublin, Ireland. Yeah. Uh, Chris was asking me to come, give a bit of a testimony. Amen. And, uh, we're in double line, so we're ready to rock. So when did you come to Christ? I came to Christ, I've been coming to Christ on and off over the years, right? Amen, bro. I've been you know, a few years ago, when we were in hell and right? Amen. And, um, you know, I remember being homeless, and I'd be like, you know, people on the street, out preaching the gospel, you know? Yeah. And they go, you're just sitting down there with nothing, you know what I mean? They'd, put, and they'd lay hands on me. And um, I didn't feel it strange in any way. I, I, I never felt like there's people that didn't want that from me. Yeah. You know, they just wanted to see was I okay. Yeah. And the message of Jesus moved me. Amen. And, and I just said, yeah, you, you blew me mind. Like, you want to be fed. Praise me. the Lord. Hallelujah. And he prayed over me. He, he placed hands on me. And it was hard to feel it. Right? Yeah, it's so true. it went on then, you know, with more and more addiction. Yeah, and then I, I went to a place called Victory where we used to get clean, right? Yeah. And um, it wasn't the ideal to go to the place, but it was introduced to the Bible there. So, uh, you know, it, it just jumped out of me. You know, the sound of the world, it just jumped out of me, right? And like, God, God came into my heart then, I suppose, right? I never, I never became fully Christian, but Jesus Christ as a person, I couldn't, I couldn't help but admire the man and what he stood for. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? Even if you don't believe in God and all that, Jesus Christ, I look at his words then and they're never more true or now. Amen, brother. Yeah. You, you like, the power. I, the, the man, like, you know, you ask who's your hero, John Lennon, Jimmy Hendrix. Jesus Christ is my hero. <laughs> ah, amen. Like, what he stood for, what he believed in, yeah. and what he said. Like, these are, this is thousands of years ago, yeah. and it's more relevant today than it was then. it was then. back then, yeah. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord, amen. So what, what effect now has he had on your life now that you've called upon his name? What, what has he done for you? I've led him into my heart. Amen. And I, I, I struggle praying because I feel like I'm asking him for things, and the, the guilt. But then when I, when I came to realise that he loves sinners, he wants to help sinners. Amen. And that, that's when it hit me. And you know, I, you say, give it to God, give it right to God. And I took it literally, you know, but he just wants to, he, he just wants, let him into your heart and he will help. And he, I've learned there's no such thing as coincidence. Yes. You know what I mean? Amen. Like, you know, you think you've got, sometimes your worst look is your, is your best, your worst look is your best look. Amen, you brother. Know, like, yeah. I'm clean, but I have the thoughts. You know what I mean? Like, what he's giving me now, right? I have a lovely home. Yes. I have a lovely partner. Yes. A beautiful daughter. Yes. And I have all these things in my life. And then when I look back, I think to myself, how did I get that? And maybe I had a little help from the Lord himself. Amen, and brother. It's preacher. Only when preacher. you look back and see these things, yeah. that he's been with me all along. He reveals and, it to you, yeah. And you always say to yourself, yeah. like, Oh, please God, get me out of this. Please God, this. Please God, that. And he never listens to me. I never hear him. But he does. He <laughs> really does. Amen. Preach you it, know man. What I mean? And like, like I, I struggle to sleep at night, you know. And then sometimes I, I pray. And I pray and I pray. And before I know I'll be out cold. That's the power, pal. The power That's of the God. Power. And you know what? The, the, the biggest thing I had, I had with resentments. You know, yeah. I hated this and I hated that. But then reading the Bible and then meeting people like yourself, you know what I mean? And Praise you know, God. when you it, God showed me to let all that go. Yes. Let them resentments go. Amen, Pat. You know, the only, Amen. Like, and the them old sayings of a draw a line in the sand when when Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, you know, all them sayings came from Jesus Christ. And half the world doesn't even know about it. I know, them. Amen, so, brother. That, that's Jesus. I'm oh, sorry. And you know, it just you know Filled with the Holy Spirit, like that happiness can't be equaled. No, it's poisonous. It, it is, it's poisonous. 
And the thing is, you were saying there about the, you know, you don't realise, people don't realise most of the things you say and do. It is all biblical. It it's all, biblical, it's from Jesus. Yeah, himself, yeah. And it, the, But the thing is, like, we're in rebellion, you know, we're fallen, we're in sin. Yes. You know, and that's why most people take the Lord's name in vain. Because they're yes. angry at him, won't be known to themselves, they're angry oh, at him, no. or for whatever, you know. But everything is tied back to Yahushua, to Jesus Christ, you know, and everything is biblical. Yeah. Everything out there is to disprove. you know what I mean? When in reality he's been proven to be there all along, and everything is there for people to turn to him, but it's there in ourselves, it's our sin rejecting him. Sin rejecting him. Amen, yes, brother. Amen. That's what really taught me, you know, he said, oh, oh, I've been about it, doing bad things. Mm -hmm. You know, God wouldn't accept me. But when I went in, that he loved me, no matter what, it was a very moment of feeling. And that's what the Bible says also, it says, come as you were. You know, you know, a lot of people out there, they think, oh, well, I have to get to get our force before I go. So I have to be clean, I have to be ready, I have to be prepared. He's ready for, He's ready for you right now. Where you were. Amen, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I'll go. Oh, that's but, he, but I get, but, the, but then when you start learning about Jesus and God, then you start learning who the enemy really is. Amen, brother. Right? I got, I get tested all the time, right? I'm at the start of a new job. Praise right? the Lord, and Things hallelujah. are going well between me and Olivia, you know, and then I start getting cravings. And when I'm at my happiest and things are going well, yes. I, I say, what is going on here? Why am I getting these cravings? Yeah. It's that old servant, that He's old coming, bleeding eh? rag, tag devil, trying to bleed and take it out, plus I'm trying to take it all away from me. I just get excited when I'm talking. I go ahead, brother, let it go. Let the spirit take over, man. I just, I just had to remember that, like, it, it's God who got, 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 got me this little help, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and it's God who got me through all this. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go through this anymore. Yeah. Like, it's God who got me through this. Like, I don't want to go through this anymore. Yeah. Like, it's God who got me through this. Like, I don't want to go through this anymore. Yeah. And he will. And, you know, he attacks you at your best and your weakest. Yeah. And he, he wants to take it all away. So if you had anything to say to anyone out there that's struggling, that's going through what you're going through, or they're only beginning, you know, what would you tell them? What what advice would you have for them? To I'd battle through these attacks what you're talking about? These attacks, I'd say, think of what you're going to lose. He's out to get you, yes. you know what I mean? It'll pass. Yes. It will, these, these, they want for, for a recovery man. Even say a little prayer, ask the Lord for strength. Amen. And it will pass. Amen. And when it does pass, you'll be grateful you didn't do it. Because it, like if if I get into the devil now, I'd be he'd take everything away from you. Like I won't you know, just anyone struggling out there, just believe in God, believe in the power that he loves you. And like that he's always there, you can't you, can, you might see him, but he does leave signs. They're ever on a bus. And you see, like a psalm on a bus. Yeah, yeah. That's him. That's the Lord. Like, like, it'd be like, it'd be like uh, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's Lay me down amen. with green pastures. Praise the Lord. And he is. He's in the detail of everything. And once you have the spiritual light to see and hear, you will see what he's telling you out in the world, and you'll hear what he's telling you through other people or, you know, through the smell or, you know, through anything, you know. But he will use anything and everything to reach you. We were in Burger King and we were playing, right? Yeah, that's right. It blows me mind as you now. A few years ago, oh, I wouldn't let them know. Yeah. But I couldn't hear this. You know, I was proud to speak the Lord's name. Hallelujah. And we were praying, we were praying. Hallelujah. We didn't care. Yeah. Because I, I think Jesus Christ is the John Lennon. You know, he, he is the, you know, he is the rock star of yeah. the world. You know what I mean? He's the saviour of the He's world. He's the saviour. He saved yeah. me. Amen. He's in my heart. And you know what? That's where his home is. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? You know, we have to as well, you know, give ourselves some credit, you know, and because we've all come out of darkness, probably, you know, we've fought and fought and fought, you know, just to just to make it before the the, the, the throne of grace, you know. Yeah. So when we when we are battling, we have to give ourselves some credit from where we come from yeah. to make it here today. We know many many people have died. They're in yeah. prison doing life. They're all just gone. They've no chance anymore, you know. Yeah. These people have passed on. That could have been us, but it's not because the Father has set us here. You're dangerous to be here. We're a royal priesthood, an anointed generation to be here because you're now giving your testimony for the good people around the world, across the world, you know. And like I was saying to the balcony, this testimony is going to help someone. 
May, if not maybe of, many. You know? of, we all get these trials. We all we are all attacked all the time. Amen. Amen. Bro. We just have to stay stay strong. Because he'll always be there. You know, he'll always, he'll always be there. You know? So you were saying about getting a new job and you know your things are good, like that's when I'm tested. That's yeah. when the the thoughts come in. Oh yeah, I'll get away with it. I might have a smoke or, or take this. And I'm like, that's the that's when I have to get me most vigilant when things yeah. are good yeah. because he, that you know that that's the devil tempting me yeah. you know and like you know he say the greatest thing doesn't exist but he does he is oh, very he real exists, all right, yeah. he is very real yeah. and you know God's never let me down this far and and, and it doesn't go my way there's a reason but you know what I mean and um, like I was saying to you earlier um, that. You know, we might be going on a high, you know, type of thing. And then all of a sudden we can be snapped. You know, we can be just broke down, you know. And don't be known to us, you know, but the Father, he sees what's ahead. And if he, he knows that if we were to continue on that track, well then we're going to stumble, we're going to fall. So he uses our family members, our wives, our kids, our friends to, to prod and poke at us, to keep us in check, keep us humble, keep us going. Like my Olivia. Amen. I swear, my Olivia, like, you know, she, like... You know, she's amazing. You know, she's the best thing that happened to me. And I thank God for her. Yes. You know, and I Amen. didn't pray for her and I'd raise her up. She's, she's struggling a bit at the moment. Yeah, we're all yeah. thinking of you, Olivia, yeah. We're all yeah. praying for you and we're, pray for we're, we're, we're cheering you on, we are. And, you know, you can get through this. We pray the blood of your house, of Jesus Christ, upon you. Amen. We pray ahead of fire. We pray for the endurance and the strength to battle through and to just keep pushing, keep moving forward. Keep pushing. That's what you do. We keep pushing. And you will finish the race. You will get there in the end. As hard as it is, but when you get through, it will make you so much stronger. You'll be like, I'm glad I've done that. I'm so happy that I've done that. Because it's all for our benefit. It's all to build us up and refine us and make us the people we're supposed to be. And in your house, wasn't it? Amen. I just want to lift up my daughter, Serge, at the moment. The two of them keep me down. Yes, brother. You know, I swear, the two most amazing people in my life. Yeah. And I thank the Lord for them every day. Amen. How's it going, Serge? No. Just saying it over So on a leaving point, what is that you'd like to say anybody to anybody before you go or that's someone that might be in the pits of darkness as well. Sorry, Robbie, I apologise. Yes. You just want to thank sorry. Someone that might be in the pit anyone's in the pits of darkness, you know, anyone's struggling at the moment. Yeah. Um I wanna pray for your father. Yeah. You know, we've had our ups and downs, but you know, I pray the Lord's is with him, we yeah. brought at the moment. Amen. Amen. Olivia and Saoirse, and I want to pray for Olivia's mother and father at the moment, Betty and Peter. Yeah. And I um, just want to pray, keep them in prayer, I want to lift them up in prayer. Um, all Olivia's family. Yeah. Well, thank um, you. Keep you in prayer, brother Christopher. Thank you, Robert, brother. Jack, you. Yeah. And their brothers around the world. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and the sisters. And Yoshua. And Leah, pray by Leah, keep her in prayer, keep, I hope the Lord filled the Holy Spirit. Amen, brother, amen. Amen. So, hold on. This is Chris Van Robbie, being disciple of saying to everybody out there, keep going, keep fighting, keep pushing forward, amen. because we can all get through this, and we will. We're all overcomers, we've got the Holy Spirit living within us, we've got God Almighty living in us. Amen. So we can make it through any battle, any challenge that may come our way, we rebuke the devil in Yahushua's name and keep pushing forward. Amen. All right? To all the folks out there, take care and you bless. Shalom. Shalom. Here we go.